employers must have a rescue plan that covers equipment failure and a fall from the platform. This plan must return a fallen or stranded worker to the ground safely and quickly. For equipment failure, there are two major options. The operator can switch to the backup control system and lower the platform to the ground. If the backup controls do not work, the secondary manual emergency descent controls can be utilized to release the hydraulic pressure and lower the platform. Fall protection is required on all Group B work platforms. The employer must have a plan, in writing, that explains the methods for rescuing a person who has fallen from the platform. There are three main options for rescue. Self-rescue utilizes special equipment that allows the employee to rescue themselves. Assisted rescue relies on other employees in the work area for rescue. This may involve using the bottom controls to lower the platform or using another elevated work platform to reach the fallen worker. If another vehicle is used for rescue, a qualified supervisor must conduct a site review and develop a specific plan for use of the vehicle for rescue. Technical rescue involves using emergency services to perform rescue. Employers who rely on emergency services must verify they have the knowledge and equipment to perform the rescue. Emergency services must also be available and able to arrive in an appropriate amount of time. If the platform becomes entangled, the employees must be removed from the platform before any attempts are made to free the vehicle. Vehicles that have tipped must be stabilized and secured before rescue is attempted. 